How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing kind of the process that I went through making this little project. I know I've been showing short videos on uh, this little project I've been working on here. And I will be showing all the footage that I took of me creating all this stuff, making all the characters and rigging an animation. So if you're into that, stay tuned. It's pretty great. Anyways, I wanted to show off uh, how I made this little project and all the steps I went through. First, we started by making a rig, making some arms, and we are good old cube boys because I can't model and I don't have time to go find one, I guess. I also just like voxel style stuff. It's just easy on the eyes. It's also a lot easier to make look good. I know the Blender game engine, especially the older version of it, graphics tended to be a little bit janky and voxels just seem to avoid most of that since it's already pretty low poly as it is. So that's what I'm doing. I make this little arm, put some nice rigs in it, and then just subdivide it laterally quite a bit, make it nice and bendy. So I add three bones, make some hands, your elbow, and then the shoulder, which helps out for making more in-depth animations. And then we do the unspeakable and actually animate this stuff. So we go in, animate everything, and I give multiple animations for each thing. So I made a running animation without a gun. I made a running animation with a gun, which ends up getting used most of the time. <laughs> Can you guys tell that I have a runny nose? I'm not sure what's up with it. I think I just woke up with some allergies. There's been a cat walking around. So we go through, I get all that stuff ready, and I start doing some more animation. And if you have done animation, I'm not the best at it. I can do simple FPS animations and third person animations, walkie animations and stuff like that. Definitely not a master of any sort. I like making very wobbly characters. So we make a little run on animation, kind of like a modern warfare style animation there. Nice and dynamic. Wow, is that all I did? Well, we got to open up another set of footage because apparently I all I did was animation in that one. Anyways, let's open up the next piece of footage here. This is what I'm kind of showing now. I didn't make a video about the sword. In fact, this is probably the first time you're seeing the sword in my project, which is fine. I mean, I was going to make a shorter video again, but YouTube's been hating my short content and it doesn't get pushed very well. It seems like my older content that I hate so much is doing much better and it's a lot longer content. But anyways, we do yet again some more animations. And this is kind of the important part of the sword is I wanted to, instead of doing one static animation, I wanted to do kind of a triple attack animation. So you hit it once or almost like a random swing animation. Each swing, so I also made the switching items, actually plays an animation kind of pulling it out of your holster or which is funny because they come from the same place. It's like a swolster, a sword holster. Anyways, <laughs> we'll pass that. <laughs> but. I made it so you have a stab animation, you have a left to right animation, and you have a right to left animation. I have a random count going, so it will go from one to three. One would be like a stab, two would be a slash to the right from the left to the right, and three would be right to left. So it just randomly ticks through that at about five or ten ticks. And then that's kind of where your randomization comes from. So it'll just kind of go through them randomly as I click. And then if I hold it down, it will just cycle through whatever randomly happens. But if you are enjoying the content, it would be awesome if you left a like. Helps me out quite a bit. And a little bit of a cheeky subscribe also helps out quite a bit. Thank you all for all the support. And let's get on with this video. So after we get all of our sword animations done, just cycle through all that you can see in fact I'll drop this down all the logic that just goes into the sword swing is ridiculous so we keep on going through I hope this wasn't just all me making the sword I think it is yeah because I spent six hours working without it something I also did is I made health bar I, I should just show how to make a legend Zelda style health bar that'd be a great tutorial close that Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's uh, enjoyable. I mean, it's going to be just me talking, but it does explain a little bit of how I did it. Not really a tutorial. In fact, 
I'm kind of leaning against tutorials nowadays. Not completely getting rid of it in case that's why you're at my channel. There are still going to be tutorials coming out. Just a lot less of them because they take a long time. I probably spend around 8 to 10 hours just doing... Not even recording. That's just me trying to figure out the logic and get all, all the notes set up. Maybe write a script. Maybe not. Depends on how I'm feeling. And sometimes I don't really need a script. It's just me describing what I'm doing. So it's actually pretty easy, but still lots of time goes into it. And then recording, editing, that's another six to eight hours of work. I know it may not seem like it since my content's a little bit janky, but I'm getting better. I'm working on it. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.